Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to our channel. I'm Rof Yasin, and in the previous video, we have successfully designed our change password form, and we have successfully done uh, our validation logic. But in this video, uh, in the continuation of previous part, I wanna fetch login details from my login form, and I wanna store somewhere so that I can access that details for updating password. Because at this stage, we don't know. Uh, for which user we are performing update operation we wanna fetch login details and we have to store somewhere so that we can use that username for update process and also i wanna display the logged in username into this user label text box i will not do this access label i will do somewhere in upcoming videos but right now i need this one okay so go to your login form and if you remember go to designer click on login to this form and if you remember i have created this data tables and we don't need at this point these data, data tables uh, for login operations but we do need this this data table if we wanna fetch uh, those details which we are getting from this store procedure this is a simple store procedure i can show you again once again if you remember yeah this is a simple store procedure select all from users and which will display all of records if user is valid and it will it will giving me this details username password role id stuff like that we, but we do, uh, only need username and role id from here so that's why i have created this data table okay so before hiding this i need to store this these user details somewhere so i'll create a new class so inside our general folder right click add new class and rename this class as logged in user and i'll create two properties for the time being i'll do more in our upcoming user privileges videos but for the time being i'll create only two properties prop static in uh, string and i wanna store username in this property user name and another thing i wanna store prop int role id okay and also set this as static property so i can directly access by calling uh, this login user class instead of creating object so before displaying our dashboard form i want to fetch these details from this data table so i will create data row object user row equals to dt user dot rows and will fetch first row and now i have this record this complete record uh, inside my user row object so i can simply call my logged in user class and dot username equals to user row and specify a column name over here username dot to string okay so after this i'll call again logged in user dot role id equals to user row and then i'll specify role id over here and also i need to convert it into integer convert dot to in 32 done so before displaying this form we are fetching a username and user role id from data table and we are storing this information with to this class and that's why i'm using static property because this will uh, be this class will be holding these two properties for the whole uh, runtime application so if you start your application it 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 will not look different but it will look different right now now i want to fetch those username and display inside this label and fetch role id and display access according to that role so right click on this label and its name is lbl admin so i'll display admin label and i'll change to role label okay 
so instead of using mr i i will also only use cms because there might be a girl who is using our system okay so double click on this and inside our load event i will call my user label admin label this is not a good name this should be user label but and i'll fetch this detail from logged in user control dot and import namespace logged in user dot user name and for roles label dot text equals to logged in user dot role id we can use if statement uh, and this is integer i need to convert it into string and uh, this is a integer and i can define uh, access accordingly but for the time being let's continue and understand what i'm doing click on here look at this we are logged in as mocksmith and our access number is 6 if you start again and admin admin and login look at this we are logged in uh, with admin username and our access level is 1 okay so in this video you understand how uh, you can store lo logged in user details somewhere and how you can call now if i click on change password i can directly access the logged in user i can tell my computer or uh, tell my software or i can tell my store procedure that hey store procedure please update the first check the old password let's say i write 1 2345 i'll go to the database and check please select the password from for this user if this user has this password then go ahead and update this new password to our database okay i think it seems okay with me and you also if you're following from scratch will do the change password functionality in the next video thank you so much for watching we'll make met again in the next video take care of yourself allah hafiz assalam alaikum